you must never stop learning. The world's greatest men and women were people who educated themselves outside of the university. One must never stop reading. Read everything that you can read that is of standard knowledge. Don't waste time reading trashy literature. Read history incessantly until you master it. This means your own national history, the history of the world, social history, industrial history, and the history of the different sciences, but primarily the history of man. A leader who is to teach men and present any fact of truth to man must first be learned in his subject. You should read at least four hours a day. Always try to associate with people from whom you can learn something. Contact with cultured persons and with books is the best companionship you can have and keep. By reading good books, you keep the company of the author of the books or the subjects of the book, when otherwise you could not meet them in the social contact of life. Never go down in intelligence to those who are below you, but if possible, Help to lift them up to you and always try to ascend to those who are above you and be their equal with the hope of being their master. The particular thing that you want should be before you all the time, and whatsoever it takes to get it or make it possible should be undertaken. No one is ever too old to learn. Therefore, you should take advantage of every educational facility. All the knowledge you want is in the world and all that you have to do is to go seeking it and never stop until you have found it. Always have a well-equipped shelf of books. Don't keep old ideas, bury them as new ones come. Use every spare minute you have in reading. Never forget that intelligence rules the world and ignorance carries the burden. Therefore, Remove yourself as far away from ignorance as possible and seek as much as possible to be intelligent. Never pass over a word without knowing its meaning. The greatest men and women in the world burn the midnight lamp. That is to say, when their neighbors and household are in bed, they are reading, studying, and thinking. When they rise in the morning, they are always ahead of their neighbors and their household in the thing that they were studying, reading, and thinking of. Never lend anybody the book that you want. You will never get it back. Spend most of your spare time in your library. If you have a radio, keep it in your own library and use it exhaustively to listen to lectures, recitals, speeches, and good music. Read a chapter of the Bible every day, Old and New Testaments. The greatest wisdom of the age is to be found in the scriptures. Read with observation. Never read carelessly and recklessly. Life is that existence that is given to man to live for a purpose, to live to his own satisfaction and pleasure, providing he forgets not the God who created him and who expects a spiritual obedience and observation of the moral laws that he has inspired. A race without authority and power is a race without respect. A man's bread and butter is only insured when he works for it. You must always be ahead by way of knowledge of all those you lead. The masses make the nation and the race. If the masses are illiterate, that is the judgment passed on the race by those who are critical of its existence. To be prosperous in whatever we do is the sign of true wealth. The world does not count races and nations that have nothing. The man or woman who has no confidence in self is an unfortunate being and is really a misfitting creation. Leadership mean everything pain, blood, and death. A leader, under all circumstances, must carry himself with dignity. He must not be a snob, but he must maintain his pride. Let no man pull you down, let no man destroy your ambition, because man is but your companion, your equal. Man is your brother, he is not your lord, he is not your sovereign master. Nobody is obligated to make you happy, so don't carry your sorrow to the world and on your sleeves. Leaders are not children,
they must not, therefore, act as children. Men and women who want to be of use to themselves and humanity must have good character. Sometimes by keeping a foul breath, tiny flies hover around your mouth and everybody knows that your breath is foul. A leader cannot be in that position, because when he is addressing the crowd, they will be visible objects telling the audience how foul his breath is. You must live so clean that everybody can see the cleanliness of your life. Never borrow money, unless you intend to pay it back. Pay it back as quickly as you can. If you give excuses when you should be paying, those you are obligated to will think you are a trickster. Money is the prop of life, in that it pays for all necessities and offers security for all opportunities. In earning money, one should never spend as much money as he earns. That is bad business. If you read good books and think lawfully, you will not be immoral. If you are intelligent, you will not be immoral because immorality leads to disease, pain, suffering, and ultimately to premature death.